वेलकम टू द सेशन द क्वेश्चन सेज इन अट वॉटर हीटिंग सिस्टम देर इज अलिंड्रिकल पाइप ऑफ लेंथ ट्वेंटी एट मीटर्स एंड डायमीटर फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स फाइंड द टोटल रेडिएटिंग सर्फेस इन द सिस्टम हेट इज नॉट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन नव हैव यूर गिवन द लेंथ ऑफ पाइप हेट इज डिनोटेड बाय H is equal to 28 meters, and this is equal to 28 into 100 centimeters. Since one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, therefore, changing 28 meters into centimeters, this gives 2800 centimeters. Also, we are given the diameter of the pipe. Is equal to five centimeters. Therefore, radius of pipe, that is denoted by small r, is equal to five upon two centimeters. Now we have to find the total radiating surface in the system, and that will be equal to the surface area of the cylindrical pipe. So, we have to find the surface area of the cylindrical pipe. Now the formula to calculate the curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. So here the curved surface area of the pipe is equal to 2 pi r h, where r is the radius of the pipe and h is the length of the pipe. So 2 into 22 upon 7 into r is 2800 centimeters. Into h is 2800 centimeters. Sorry, and r is 5.2 centimeters. So the curved surface area is in square centimeters. And simplifying this, we get 7 into 4 is 28. Two zeros. Two cancels out with two. So we have 22 into 400. Into five centimeters square, and this is further equal to four four zero 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 centimeters square. And since one centimeter is equal to one upon hundred meters, therefore one centimeter square is equal to one upon ten thousand meters square. So this gives forty four thousand. Divided by ten thousand meters square, and this is equal to four point four meters square. And hence, our answer is the total radiating surface in the system is four point four meters square. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.